All right guys, today we're gonna finish out the Aero Kit. I've got some really exciting products that I got from a local newer company here in Atlanta. Let me go ahead and take you through it. As you know from the first episode and the installs we did up at Top Car, the factory aero kit is something that I was really keen to put on the 997. The car already came with a factory aero wing, the uh, dot one aero wing, which is great, hard to find. I went ahead and picked up a brand new front aero kit bumper from Suncoast. Really the only difference between this bumper and the GT3 bumper is the vented section, uh, what they call the smile vent. Decided not to add that just to stay sort of true to form, you know, OEM plus build, not trying to be a GT3. But other than that, the front bumper for the 997 generation is basically the GT3 bumper. So it's really, really sharp. It has a bottom lip across the bottom that lowers the car, uh, lowers the profile. And that's how it came from the factory if you did factory aero or if you had a GT3. So rear wing, front bumper, of course, a GT3 has the slotted rear bumper as well. This one has just the regular rounded bumper. I've always thought that these 997s could use a little bit of a lowering look in the middle. I think there's a little bit of contrast and it's kind of sharp or abrupt, if you will, between the front lip on the Aero Kit or GT3 bumper and then the side of the car. And so I went on a search for figuring out, you know, what side skirts do I want to put on the car? There aren't a whole lot of options for the 997. When I did the 991, there was all kinds of different options. I had a lot to choose from. Ultimately, I went with the Tech Art Kit, as you know, if you follow the channel. So when it came to look for side skirts for the 997, it really came down to three different options. There are some side skirts that are very like tall and wide and, you know, pronounced. They look a little old school in my opinion. I'm not really a huge fan. I think they're way too much. Option two is that Moss Hammer makes some pretty sharp looking side skirts. They have a unique kind of shelf to them. They're kind of modern though, and I felt like they were a little too modern for this build. As you know, I kind of went back to like OEM lights, OEM tail lights, stuff like that. The third option was to modify some 991 side skirts to fit this car. Now the 991 side skirts from that aero kit are in my opinion, like just the right amount of side skirt. It's enough to give it a lowered look. It adds a little bit of profile to the side, a little bit of unique interest, and it's got like a little bit of a ridge, but it's not too much. It really blends very nicely. And I think for the profile and size of the 997, it's perfect. So I found on the Renless forums, posts about people who bought 991 side skirts and started drilling them and retrofitting them and trimming edges. And as you guys know, that follow the channel, I'm game for all that. Like I do that with a lot of builds. I have no problem retrofitting and modifying things. So I was about to go that route. And then all of a sudden, a buddy of mine who also has a uh, 997 who I've been chatting with a whole bunch, turned me on to a company here in Atlanta called EMC2. So they've got a lot of really great options. The company is not brand new, but you know they are new-ish. They make a lot of stuff for 911s. Uh, they do make a lot of 997 stuff. They have a lot of front end splitters and you know pieces and components for front bumpers. They do make side skirts, which I'm gonna to touch on obviously. And then they do make some rear splitters that are super interesting as well. So I reached out to the company. The side skirts that they make are essentially an evolution of the same thread I found on Renlist. So the gentleman who was modifying those 991 side skirts and posting kind of the how-tos and step-by-steps got so many requests over time of people saying, hey, can I like buy 991 side skirts and ship them to you? Have you do the modifications and then you ship them to me for my 997 that he decided to go ahead and start making and fabricating something from scratch that actually was set up to take a 991 side skirt and make it work for 997 without all the one-off cutting and all that kind of stuff, if you will. So that was all born out of that Renless form, which is super cool. I reached out to that company and asked if I could get my hands on a set of side skirts. They were on pre-order because they are a little bit of a newer item, but they were super cool and they said, hey, let's collaborate. We've seen your channel. If you don't mind covering our product, we'll send you some, let you put them on the car, see what you think. So just to be clear, I did pay for these. These weren't like free or anything like that. And like I said, I was already planning to purchase these before we even decided to collaborate. So the fact that I'm able to collaborate with the company that makes them, give them my direct feedback, but also give you, the viewers on my channel, kind of 
early access and early look at what is a pre-order product is really just all good all around. It's a win-win. So we are gonna put these on. I'm gonna talk you through what they are and what they look like. I'm not gonna do a step-by-step -step install. The company has excellent, excellent install videos. I'm gonna leave two links below for both of these products. So if you need a how-to, you can go to those. But let's go ahead and look at what we got. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. I'll show you the final product and then I'll give you my initial thought. All right, so we'll start with the side skirt. As you can see, looks pretty standard, right? But basically you've got all these holes that are already pre-drilled. This was a lot of what was going on before where you're taking this nine and one side skirt. The holes didn't line up, they weren't in the right place. They didn't align essentially the body work on a 997. So they've done all that for you. They've also trimmed and capped and created, you know, like a super nice finished look here on the modify yourself 991 option. You've got to trim this back. You end up with kind of rough cut edges. You've got to figure out what to do with that and so on. As you can see, the profile here is really nice. Like I said, it's not too crazy. I mean, it does have this ridge here, which is great. You know, this obviously sits up like this. So it kind of slopes in and then it matches along sort of with the body work as you move your way up. So it's gonna flare out. It's gonna lower the look a little bit, but it's not too much, which is what I love. So these side skirts come with all kinds of hardware. This is kind of really where a lot of the magic is. A lot of the posts, and just hardware and screws and everything they've already figured out for you converts the holes and openings on the 997 bodywork underside where the rocker panels are to what you're gonna need to screw in and accept these. So they figured out all the hard stuff for you. The other piece that we're gonna install are these rear splitters. I think these are super, super slick. They are very subtle. Um, I'm usually actually not a big fan of like canards and side splitters and you know fins and all this stuff coming off the car. But when I reached out to the guys, they said, if you're gonna do the side skirts and you've already got the front lip from the aero kit bumper, we really recommend you check out the rear splitters. It just kind of ties that lowered look up and back into the rear bumper with just really nice taper. You know, it's very, very subtle and just ties kind of the lowered look around the back of the car. So it doesn't look so abrupt that when you get past the rear wheel, all of a sudden the look changes completely and that you're like missing something on the back. So we're gonna put these on. I think they were right just holding these up, kind of dry fitting them, that these are really important. If you're gonna go ahead and get the side skirts, I would really recommend you get the rear splitter. I'm gonna go and get them on, then we're gonna see what it looks like and I'll let you know what I think. Okay, so the car is all done, We've got everything installed, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you a quick walk around, let me know my thoughts, but super happy with how this turned out. All right, so like I said, super happy. I have made a couple extra changes to the car besides just the side skirt, so we've got the front lip on. I think in the last video you guys probably saw when we went over the wrap, the front lip wasn't installed. I actually kept that at home, not at the wrap shop, so they didn't have that to put on. We've also added some Renline grills in the front and so really from like a cosmetic standpoint but also from a function standpoint i wanted to add these just to ensure that we don't get a bunch of stuff stuck up in here i do a lot of mountain driving a lot of leaves especially in the fall and then get these radiators really easily so i added that we have added the side skirts obviously as you guys can see really love how these turned out as i mentioned before i put them on you know i just think they're the perfect amount not too much not too little I love this little flare, you know, over here on the side, especially the way the light catches that. It really kind of highlights it without it being too much. And then going around to the rear, you know, I think that these little splitters are really important. They definitely tie, you know, the rear look and the front together quite nicely. And like I said, that was thanks to the uh, recommendation of the team I worked with. So very happy with this overall. I think it turned out great. Highly recommend getting this product. It's very easy to install. It's really high quality, and in my opinion, which is of course just my opinion, it's the best side skirt rear splitter combination for this particular platform. So that wraps it up for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Big shout out to the team over at EMC2. Really enjoyed collaborating on this particular project with those guys. 
definitely go check them out. And if you are enjoying the build series, please subscribe. It's your best way to make sure you stay up to date on all the future episodes I've got coming. But we have a bunch of stuff left. We still have modifications to the back, including a bumperette delete, uh, exhaust tweak, uh, getting the tips sorted, all kinds of stuff like that. We've got a lot of interior work, Recaro CS uh, seats, seat belts, you name it. So lots to come. Stay tuned. Appreciate you guys watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.